Here are the tests on my 1965 unknown toilet. There is no water line in the tank or on the flush valve, so I just set it to there, and I have it on the same flapper as before. So let's give this a flush and see how it does. It's got a nice flush. It's a little weak, but I think it'll do pretty well on the performance tests. Not sure how it'll do on dirt, and I'm not really hopeful on that, but I think it'll do pretty well with stuff like the washcloths and grocery bags and the dish towel. So I'll be right back when the tank is full. As far as I know, there is no mineral buildup in this toilet, and the back of the tank is glazed. So I think the trapway is probably glazed as well, but let's see how it does. Did perfectly as expected. So Let's add some water to the bowl and then try a grocery bag. So one thing I did not mention before is that the trapway gets very narrow down there at the bottom. So that might cause some issues, but who knows? I guess there's only way to, one way to find out and that's by testing it. Well, I think we just saw what happens when they make the trapway narrow. And considering how long it took to actually stop up, I'm guessing it did get stuck here. So let's add some water to the bowl and then try both of them together. And this wasp just landed on the surface of the water there. And there's another one on the bag. So I'm gonna grab the washcloth So let's see if it can take a washcloth, a grocery bag, and this little wasp thing. Looks like it got stopped up in the same place again. Honestly, I do not think this toilet has much hope of passing it, but considering it got that far, honestly, it just might. So I'm going to empty the rest of the water out of the tank. Well, I don't think that's going anywhere. So, that failed. Now let's try a dish towel. But gotta add some water to the bowl first. And I will be right back when the tank is full.
Honestly, hate to say it, I think it's going to clog. Well, I guess I was sort of right. It did clog, but then it unclogged itself. This toilet is very deceptive. It takes the stuff down and then gets clogged at the very end. So now, let's add some water to the bowl and then try a dirt test. And also you may notice that there is still dirt coming out of the rim, so that might cause an issue with the bowl rinse. And I don't think the bowl rinse is that good to begin with, so I don't think this will do well. Just on this test in general, I think this toilet will do badly. I don't think it has very good bowl rinse, and considering it's a concealed siphon jet toilet with a weak flush, I'm guessing it will leave a lot around the middle. So let's see how it does. Well, I guess if there is any other way to tell that I've never done a dirt test before, it was that my prediction was that it would leave a lot. And it did not leave a lot. It only left the heavy rocks and sand and stuff. But around the sides, there's a little bit here and there. But wow, I don't think I've been more wrong on a dirt test before. So there is some there. And in the front, that's a lot. So. I'm going to see what the issue is there. There's a rim jet right there, and I have a feeling that's clogged. So I'm just going to do a flush right now. Yeah, it's totally clogged. So I'm going to blame that jet for this failure here. But anyway, that's about all for these tests. Hopefully I can get the rest of the dirt out when I do a high tank test. But until then, that is all for this video. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe and turn on notifications. It helps my channel a lot and I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video. And there's a roach egg case. So good riddance to that.